Hello and welcome to this fresh episode of Tech Quantum. Now in our previous videos, we have discussed about Dataverse, we have discussed about Dataverse database, the tables and columns in a Dataverse and the relationship between tables. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about environments and tenants within a Dataverse. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now, while working with Microsoft Dynamics 365 products, you might have heard the term called environments and tenants. So what are these environments and tenants? Let me try to explain you with a diagram. So let's have a look at this diagram over here. So as you can see over here in this diagram, environments are used to store, to manage and to share your organizational data, uh, including uh, your apps and your flows that you use in your Power Platform, okay? Now, each environment allows you to provision one Dataverse database, which is denoted as CDM over here, that is Common Data Service Database. Well, database, the Dataverse database was previously known as a Common Data Service Database, okay? And what this Common Data Service does is that it allows you to manage uh, user access, uh, security settings, and storage that are associated with the database. Now, going further, each environment is uh, created under Microsoft Azure Active Directory tenant. You can also call it Azure AD tenant. And its resources can only be accessed by users within that particular tenant. So you see the users over here, they can only access the all the features or the environment that are available within this tenant. Okay, they cannot access the resources outside this tenant. You will also see that I have denoted uh, Tech Quantum USA, Tech Quantum Canada, Tech Quantum Australia. What this means is that an environment, either it is a production test or dev environment, that doesn't matter, but an environment is bound to a geographical location like Australia, like Canada, USA, or any other, right? What this means is that when you create a Dataverse database uh, in any particular environment, it is bound to a particular geographical location. That means it is created in the data center, which is available in that particular location. So for example, if you create a, a Dataverse database in TQ Australia, that means that that database is created in a data center, which is located in Australia. And moreover, any items that you create um, in an environment, which includes connections, gateways, flows, that are using Power Automate or any other thing are also bound to their environmental location because they are contained within an environment, right? Now you can create um, more than one environment uh, to manage uh, solution development and data storage by setting up a, one environment for, let's say, development, one environment for testing, and another environment for production. So many um, clients also use, uh, you know, uh, another environment for you know, testing all the integrations before it goes to production. So um, these are the three common types that I'm telling you about development, uh, test and production, but you can create multiple environments. And also, uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, you can set up an environment based on a geographical location as well. So for example, you might uh, set up an environment for uh, Europe and another for uh, Asia Pacific. Each of these environments will have zero or only one instance of common data service. So I hope with this short video, uh, you came to know about what are environments and what are tenants. Well, I will meet you in the next video with a new topic. So keep watching and stay tuned and do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of my upcoming videos. So bye for now.